How are we doing ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video on the channel and this video is a very special video to me. For the first time ever I'm doing a single like non-episode style rebuild of my beloved Manchester United. And it's also a very special day for me because I'm recording this about six hours after we won the FA Cup. Up the Reds, come on! <sighs> uh, keep in mind, this video's coming out in July, so I don't know if Ten Hag's staying. All I know is that some of the players are leaving and we're gonna be in, for the, in the hunt for some new transfer recruits. Excuse me. So my plan for today is to take over Manchester United, sign some of the players who they're realistically looking to sign in this summer transfer window. I got uh, got my eyes on a few of them already. Uh, take them to the top, uh, develop this team, and bring United back our first Champions League since 2008. That is my plan here today. Hopefully we can make it work. If you guys are excited for this Manchester United rebuild, please like this video, comment who you think Manchester United should sign this summer in the comments down below. And before we get into all this, I definitely have a special announcement for you guys. You would have seen it if you watched any of my previous videos, but have a listen. Guys, I am super excited to announce the beginning of my Patreon here on my YouTube channel. Here on my Patreon, you can have early access to all my videos every single time. I upload them right after I upload my YouTube videos, but as you guys remember, I pre-record a lot of my videos. So if you guys want early access to every single piece of content I make, you've got to join the Patreon. We have many membership tiers. You can be a friend of the channel and get shout outs in every video. You can be a super friend of the channel, which includes early access to all my content. You can be a best friend of the channel, uh, shout outs, uh, early access, along with when I have more time, exclusive content that won't be uploaded on YouTube at all. And you can access the, uh, the mega almighty, the sportsbook genius himself is uploading his picks for $29.99 a month. Most people charge like $300 a month for this. And I am giving this to you guys for $29.99 a month. So what are you waiting for, guys? I love having your guys' view every single week. And you can get closer to me and the channel with my Patreon link in the description. I really look forward to meeting some of you guys there. And hopefully you'll get to be on these videos sooner rather than later. Thank you for watching, guys. And let's get on with the video. Now that you guys know that I have a Patreon, please feel free to join and have early access to videos just like this in the description down below. Link to join is down there and we got some work to do with this team, man. I mean, some players were definitely trying to build around this guy, this guy, potentially this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Everyone else I really do think could be sold um got a few youth academy guys man i could have swore this guy was dead <laughs> but um yeah no i got my eyes on a few targets we're gonna sign the players who were realistically gonna sign because we're the summer i don't think we're gonna have a huge budget especially missing out on the champions league so i want to make the most and some good budget signings but for the players who i know are are leaving in the summer i'm either gonna transfer list them or try to see if we can make swap deals for them but overall i'm gonna try and do my best here to make a solid team but yeah let's get to work we've got a lot of work to do so let's get to it well first player out the door is victor lindelof i love me vic some victor lindelof i think he's a really good player but it just hasn't worked out for him. Wish him all the best. He's off to Lazio for a $20 million transfer. All the best, Victor. Hope you enjoy your spell in Italy. Well, next one out the door is Christian Eriksen. Oh, man, I do love Christian Eriksen. I'm not going to lie. I really do love this guy, but he's getting up there in age. It's time to go. I think he's going to be leaving this summer. 
I do wish Erickson all the best. The midfield is packed with young talent, so. He's off to Juventus. All the best, Christian. Hope you enjoy Italy with Victor. Welcome to Manchester United, a player that I would love for them to sign in real life. Michael Elise joins from Crystal Palace for $65 million. And it's, I love this signing. I really do, man. We've got a lot of, like, shoot first wingers, but Elise provides a different skill set. He's a creative winger. Um, he's not wearing number 13, though, I can say that much. Welcome to the team, Michael. You'll make Old Trafford really fun to watch. I'll say that much. Next signing to join Manchester United, another Premier League player. Welcome from Merseyside, Jared Branthwaite. Joins from Everton. The young center half joins this United side. Man, what a great signing Jared Branthwaite is. I really do rate him as a young center back. I would love United to go out and sign him in real life. I do think we're going to sign Jean-Claire Tadebo personally, but if we're going to bring in a second center back, I think Jared Branthwaite should be first on that priority sheet. 25 mil from Everton. I like that signing a lot. Anthony, the next one to go. He wasn't up to the standard, unfortunately. I wish him all the best. Hopefully, he finds a better pasture for himself, but it just hasn't worked out for him at United. What more can I say? He's off to Fulham. Hopefully, it goes well for him there, but to get 37 mil out of Anthony, I'll take it. And another one bites the dust. Anthony Martial leaves Manchester United. He's already confirmed to be leaving in real life. Man. Some of the memories that he's given us. Such a shame to see it end like this, but... Another one of those players you just hate to see go. Truly wish him all the best, but... Man, that's a bummer. The next man to join Man United has arrived. Bring in the young superstar by the name of João Neves. He joins this midfield... The Benfica superstar joins this great young core. I'm really looking forward to having this man in the midfield. I think he's a real quality player, this guy. And if United get their hands on him, man, I think we've got a pretty solid midfield. Bruno, Mainu, and this guy in real life? Whew, wouldn't that be something special? 40 mil from Benfica. I'm more than happy with this signing. And a new backup striker has arrived. Welcome to Man United, Benjamin Sesko from Red Bull Leipzig. Uh, he'll be the backup to Rasmus Hoyland, and I do think we got a quality player here. Benjamin Sesko, oh, he's a great striker in the Bundesliga, and I do think adding him to this young core that we're building, man, we've got some, we've got great things going here at United. But another. A great man to help uh, Rasmus Hoyland out. 30 mil from RB Leipzig. I think that's a great signing myself. But welcome to this young core, Benjamin Sesko. Well, I really didn't want to sell this guy, but he's leaving in real life. So I had to. Rafa Varane is out the door. He's joining Nottingham Forest. Why, I don't know, but... Not, they put in a bid for him, and I didn't want to sell him to another top six club, so. Varane is out of the door, unfortunately. Rolls-Royce, all the best, my friend. Man, I... God, I really don't want to see Rafa Varane go in real life, dude. Ugh, he's joining Nottingham Forest. I love this guy. I... If... if there's any one of them I wish all the best, it's this guy. Ugh love him too much man I don't know why it didn't give me an animation for this one but Scott McTominay has been sold to Brentford he's off to there he's off there for 18 mil uh yeah all the best Scott uh thank you for some really big goals over the last two seasons but damn I feel kind of bad for the guy to be honest well, it was inevitable that he would go to, to be honest. 
I love Casemiro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the 22-23 season. But his best days are behind him now, so... Kazzy, all the best, my friend. It's been a pleasure. Man, he... The way he rocked that midfield when he first came in, man. He was something special. It's unfortunate, but it's how the business goes sometimes. It's a ruthless and cutthroat sport. Casemiro's off to Aston Villa. Okay, guys. I said I was going to keep this realistic. But I had so much money laying around, I couldn't help myself. Ronald Araujo has joined from Barcelona for 125 mil to partner Lissandro Martinez at the back. Man, what a signing this guy would be if he was to join United in real life. You know, Barca probably need to sell a player or two if they want to keep the core how it is. And if Ronald Araujo was to join Man United... Man, I wouldn't complain. I'll say that much. I would not complain. Ronald Araujo joins from Barcelona for 125 mil. I like it a lot. Guys, I'm starting to think we're cooking up something special. Zhao Palina joins from Fulham as our new defensive midfielder, replacing Casemiro effectively. Man. Nice to have him on the team, I must say, but I think this is relatively going to complete the signings unless some someone new jumps off the board at me. This will probably be it. Probably be it for signings. I mean, I can see us going all the way till the end of the season with this, but if something else happens, I'll let you guys know, but for now, I'm just going to jump to the end of the season. Well, it looks like we've got some work to do. Sixth place in the league. That could have been a lot better. Um, FA Cup, how did we do? Plymouth Argyle are in the FA Cup final? Are you dumb? How does that even happen? Where, where are we in the FA Cup? Okay, we beat Everton. What? No. Go, take me back to the FA Cup. Uh... Stop doing that, bro. I just want to see how we did in the FA Cup. Can I do that? Okay, we lost 4-2 to Wolves in the round of 16. Jesus. Carabao Cup. Everton won somehow. And we got knocked out in round th 3 by Leicester City at home. Well, that's brilliant. Champions League... Uh, Man City are in the final. We didn't even make it out of our group. Splendid. Which means we were put in the Europa League and we were knocked out in the semifinals. Okay. Work to do for next season. Sounds like a plan. We'll take a look at our best players in the squad before we go. Uh, Araujo's up two, Fernandez up one, Martinez up one, Onana up one, Dallow up three. Wow. Uh, Jao Polina, uh, stays the same. Marcus Rashford up one. Uh, Shaw up one. Sancho up two, but that doesn't really count. Elise up three. Hoyland up by five. wan up by two. Mount up by two. Maguire up by one. Amrabat up by two. Garnacho up by four. Sesco up by three. Uh, Neves up by one. Uh... Branthwaite up by one, Malassi up by one, Diallo up by two. Okay. Uh, Mainu stayed at 72. How? I don't know, but we've got work to do, to say the least. There's room for improvement. We're starting this season off for a bang. I'm done signing Youth Academy players. Well, youthful players at least, because I want to win. So, we're going out making a statement. New left back, Alfonso Davies, with Luke Shaw going the other way in a swap deal. For s somehow, some way, Davies ended up at Sevilla. So, Luke Shaw's off to enjoy Seville as Alfonso Davies is joining Man United. For 36 mil plus Luke Shaw, Alfonso Davies is the newest red to the squad. 
Welcome to Manchester, Alfonso. You wanted massive splashes? Well, you got them. Frankie de Jong finally joins Manchester United two years after that long drawn out saga. He joins Manchester United along with his former teammate Ronald Araujo. Frankie de Jong is going to upgrade this midfield. Having him alongside Palinha and Fernandez is going to be huge for this team. I look forward to having Frankie in this team. He's not number 23 though, that'll get changed. Welcome to Manchester, Frankie. For $140 million, Frankie de Jong joins Manchester United. With some players coming in, some players have to go out the door. And Harry Maguire is one of them. It's been an up and down tenure for Maguire at United, hasn't it? But I guess it's time for him to move on, unfortunately. All the best, Harry. Hope you enjoy Madrid. He's off for 20 mil. It'll be nicer weather for you. Just don't try to fight any police while you're down there. Well, um, Cubby Mainu's going out on loan. I, I said with Frankie De Jong, Xiao Polina, Xiao Neves, Mason Mount, Cubby Main, Hannibal's there too. Like, Cubby Mainu's not gonna get a lot of game time. He's off to Ral Sociedad to get more game time, but. Yeah, that's really what I see for Kabi. Just go out on loan. We got a lot of quality players, as quality as I think he is, for FIFA standards. He's not there yet, you know what I mean? Once they give him a higher rating, I'll be starting him every single week. But it is what it is, unfortunately. Well, our Maguire replacement has arrived. Uh, Jean-Claire Todibo, a player that I fully expect to join Manchester United in real life, has joined for 47 million from OGC Nice. Big, big deals going down. <laughs> I'm very happy that Jean-Claire Todibo has joined from Nice. He'll be a good player for us. I think he'll be better, great defensively and on the ball, but... Be beyond happy that Jean-Claire Tadebo's joined for 47 mil. I think that's a great deal. What does FC24 think? Get out of town, bro. Well, I can't say this was a hard decision to make. Mason Greenwood out the door. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty simple, isn't it? He's off to Nottingham Forest. I don't know why Nottingham Forest won him, but good for them I guess well another one bites the dust it was only a matter of time before he left as well Sancho I love you man but it just has not worked out for you at Man United oh, wishing y'all the best at Chelsea he's gone for 60 million to the Blues hopefully it'll work better for you there but just don't score any against us man well, I might have just done the craziest deal I think I've ever done the game ever. 190 mil plus Marcus Rashford, who's on the back of this kit for Vinicius Jr. I would normally never do this because I love Marcus Rashford, but for this career mode, I've just I'm going all in. I'm going bold. We had the funds, so screw it. Vinicius Jr., welcome. To Man United, you're not wearing number nine, my friend. You'll get your number seven, but wow, Venetius to Man U, that would be nuts. That would be nuts. I can't believe Madrid would even consider it. Oh, I've let Rashford go too. That's that's disappointing, but wow, man, wow. Well, as you probably would have expected after making a deal like signing Vinicius Jr., we're going to end off our deadline day. I think we've got a really sick team, to say the least. Like, not a single player under 84 or 83 rated, rather. That's nuts. 
That's nuts. We're going to simulate to the end of the season with this team. We'll see how we do, but like, surely, surely this team can't not get Champions League football. Like, seriously. All right, so let's have a look at how, all, how we didn't get Champions League. Are you dumb? How has this team not got Champions League football? We lost 3-1 in the FA Cup final. How are we doing the Carabao Cup? We got knocked out in the third round because we drew City. Splendid. Where did we finish in Europa? Europa League. We lost in the final Arsenal. How have we not got Champions League out of this? H how? How? I'm so confused. Like, how? Guys, we're officially going all in. Rodrigo's joining from Real Madrid. We're officially going all in. Like, seriously. How this team is not even qualifying for the Champions League befuddles me but Rodrigo's joining hopefully he'll do the trick 200 million I paid for this guy hopefully he does the trick man good lord I tell you guys I'm officially going all in Aurelian Chuamini joins I just completely skipped the animation because I just want to get this rebuild done and over with Zhao Polina plus 65 mil Chuamini joins from Real Madrid we're essentially just building Real Madrid like dude I don't understand how this team is not even qualifying for the Champions League we're stacked bro we're stacked well bought the best player in the position for right back Ashraf Hakimi joins dude like if we don't even qualify for the Champions League something is wrong can you tell this is driving me insane? Like, I do not know how this team's finishing fifth. Fifth. Like, how? I don't get it. Ashcraft Hakimi, you'll get a better number than 25. Welcome to Man United. You'll be our new starting right back. Sorry, Dallo. Nope. I'm done. I give up. I give up. <sighs> the... I've been fired like seven times and I had to go back in the saves and it's like, oh my god. Nope, I give up. We'll sim the season with Burnley or whoever the hell I just signed for. And we'll see how United do at the end of the season. Because Jesus Christ, man, I've had enough. I've actually had enough. Friggin' take me to the end of the season. Oh my lord. We'll see how it goes. Jesus, this... Don't care about preseason, bro. Oh my lord, get me to the end of this, I beg. Oh my Christ, I've been fired from this job too? What? Who am I gonna friggin... I guess I'll manage Watford, Jesus Christ. I can't even make it to the end of the season with Burnley. I wasn't even Burnley that I was managing, I don't even know. Oh my dear God. This game, I tell you, this game. Oh my God. What am I meant to do, bro? What am I meant to do? You've got to, yep, Burnley will take me back. Why not? Let's go sign with Burnley again. Jesus Christ. This is a joke. This is an absolute joke. Oh my God. Well, I kept Burnley out of the relegation zone by a point. Yay me. Um, where did United finish? Oh, of, of course, of course, of course. Of course, when I don't put it in the simulations hands, that's when they decide to friggin' win. Newcastle somehow won the FA Cup. Carabao Cup was won by City. Champions League was won. Well, the final's still yet to be played, but it's between ba Arsenal, Arsenal and Bayer Leverkusen. Let me guess, United won Europa? Yep, what do you know? What do you know? Like, dude, 
How does this team not qualify for the Champions League? How? How? I don't know. I seriously do not know. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of this episode and why. And yeah, guys, I'll see you for the next episode um, of Rebuilds. I don't know if it'll be an FC 24 or 25, but I hope you enjoyed whatever this was. Take care and peace.